Good morning, everybody. It's a bl blessing to be with you and to look together at our worthy Jesus and just the path that God took him on as he calls it his son worthy. The sacrifice was worthy. His suffering was worthy. And all of his actions leading up to his suffering was exactly a part of the plan of God. And it is really interesting. We're going to be in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 7. And here it says, And in the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and te tears to him that was able to save him from death. I don't know if, it, if you're like this or not, but, but it's hard for me to grasp that for a minute because he was a son of God. It's like he came for a mission to go and give his life. But as we look at this little parentheses before the cross, before his perfect sacrifice, we see a Savior who had came into the world destined to die for our, us to be saved and yet he was seeking God in prayer. And if you notice with me, with supplications and prayers and cries and tears, and in Jesus, who was all God, was also another component, and that is that he was all man. Perfect as God, but a man in the flesh who walked with God. And this passage shows us the, the complete commitment Jesus made in prayer on such a level as he sought God personally. And I think it is so good to see this because we recognize that we serve a, a Savior who is perfect in every way. And it says, and he came to the one who was able to save him from death. There could be an application here that Jesus would cry later in the garden that the cup had passed from him. He didn't want to go in his flesh to the cross, but he went to the cross it, because the, it was the will of the Father to go to the cross. But he kept praying these supplications and cries out to God. And there was a sense he knew what death was and does. And yet he himself was going to pray, and yet he would go on and give his life. And it goes on and he says he was heard because of his reverence. God heard Jesus. I want us to realize that God listens for every cry of our heart, just like he did his own son. When we just cry out, we just say, Lord, help, he's there to help us. When we say, Lord, I don't have an answer, he's there to get, provide the answer. Lord, I need strength. He's there to give us that strength. And notice with me the writer of Hebrews and what he said then. Although he was a son, he was the son of God, he learned obedience through what he suffered. The path of Jesus for the, for the years preceding his death were, was a path that would take him on learning the obedience that we also must learn as his children. He was learning to do the Father's will as his son on earth with an earthly body, all God, all man, with a heavenly purpose. And here he was. And as a result, the Word of God says, and being made perfect. He was made perfect. God had made him, created him for this special time. And being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all of them who obey him. And I want us to get the completeness of that as we conclude how precise and intricate God is in his plan. It wasn't that he just fast-forwarded Jesus to the cross. He didn't just run through the, the hills of Galilee and all of a sudden he's there. He took him every step of the way on a path that would mark him as the perfect Lord and Savior in every way. And because of that, this book will even cry out later, 
because of this, he is able to save us completely, to give us complete salvation to the very uttermost. And, and if you notice, he ends this by saying this, verse 10, and being designated by God a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. And today we look to him as our great high priest who is able to hear every cry of our heart and call us worthy as he hears that cry. That's my child. That's my son. They are worthy. Lord, forgive them because I see through this example here, the very example of prayer that we have, but also notice the detail through which God instrumentally prepared Jesus for this perfect sacrifice that he was and that he is today as a child of God that we can partake of and believe by faith. God bless you. It's just, you can take some time and spend more time looking at this. It's a beautiful portion of scripture. And let me pray with you before we conclude. Father, I just thank you for this time. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your son. Thank you for all that he has done and is doing for us. And we give you the honor and glory in every way in Christ's name. Amen.